this project here is our medium rye project. Um, what I have in here is mixing on first speed already is my sour, my flour, which consists of rye flour and an artisan style bread flour. We call it all purpose with about 11.7 protein content. I have my water, my culture, my yeast, and a little um, salt. I mix it on first speed for a total of four minutes, and then I increase the mixing speed to number two and mix it for an additional three to four minutes. This dough, just so you're aware, will be very tacky by the time it's done mixing. Once we're done mixing, we take the dough out of our mixing bowl. Always use wet hands with these rye breads, keeps them nice and clean. And pour it into a plastic container so that it can go through its bulk fermentation stage. Now, don't be alarmed. This dough seems very wet right now, but by the time it's finished its bulk fermentation process, it'll be much less hydrated because the bran in the rye will absorb that moisture later on. Once you have it in the bowl, just to organize it a little bit and take a temperature reading, making sure that the dough is hopefully between 75 and 78 degrees Fahrenheit so that you can go through an ideal bulk fermentation scenario. Close it and let it go through the bulk fermentation process. So for our medium rye, we give it a stretch and fold and you can start to see it's starting to develop some nice gluten. This will expel the old CO2. It will build strength and balance out the temperature. Then we cover it with the lid and allow the bulk fermentation process to finish. So with our rye project, we take the dough, we gotta make sure that it doesn't stick during this pre-shaping process. And quick touches, don't hold it too long, otherwise it's gonna tear, and put it down on a flour dusted board. Sometimes what can also help is make sure that you remove some of the sticky surfaces. And if you shape using a bowl scraper, a bench scraper, sorry, um, that way you can pick it up a little easier. And then we take this and we let it bench rest for approximately 20 minutes before we final shape it. After the bench rest phase is done with our medium rye bread, we sprinkle some flour up on top, make sure it doesn't stick to our table. Bring the seam up. And then we're gonna fold into the center these wings going around in a circular way. Till we've done one complete rotation, flip it over, make sure that it has some strength to it. And then we're gonna put seam side down into our dusted banatone molds. Mm -hmm. 
after they've been in the banditone molds for about 10 minutes, we cover them with plastic and put them into the fridge for an overnight fermentation. After an overnight cold ferment, the dough has some nice body to it. I'd recommend putting a little flour on here so it doesn't stick. Put a little flour down on your peeling surface and flip them over and let them naturally fall into place. Don't want to force them out of this. And like this, they're going to go into the oven, baking it around 450 to 480 in a deck oven for approximately 35 to 40 minutes with steam.